Hello everyone, I'm here today to do the uh, first tag, bookish first tag, and this was created by uh, Mooney Reads and I was tagged by Jim from Jing's uh, Books Reading and Stuff. There are 12 questions, so let's just get into it. The first question is, uh, what is the first full-length book that you remember reading on your own? Uh, not like picture books or anything. Um, and I... I don't remember, I think this might have had illustrations, but it was not like a picture book. That was The Never Ending Story by Michael Ende. Um, I remember watching the movie and liking it, and then I found out that it was a book, so I read that one. Um, the second question is, what is the first series you remember finishing? Um, and I think that should be... Manolito Gafotas by Elvira Lindo. That was like a series of books about this kid that lived in Madrid in a low-income family and basically his day-to-day life sort of like um, Yeah, like this comics like Peanut and other comics, but in book form um, And that also connects to the next question, which is what is the first book to movie adaptation? You remember watching knowing it was a book to movie adaptation and they did make a movie of of This book and I remember watching it knowing that it was an adaptation. I think might be the first one that I watched knowing um, And having read the book first. The first question is who was your first book crush? Um, I don't know if I have an answer for this. I don't know if I've ever had a book crush. Uh, so I guess I, I'll leave that blank. Um, the fifth question is, who was your first bookish friend? Um, I remember uh, when I was around 10, 11 years old, I met um, a girl in my painting classes that I'm still friends with, um, sort of. And uh, yeah, I remember she also liked reading, so we talked about books and we exchanged books and we also went to all the Harry Potter releases and all of that stuff. So I guess I, that counts as my first bookish friend. Um, the sixth question is, what is the first auto book you remember reading not for school? Um, I probably have read adult books before this one, but the first one I remember is Angela's Ashes by Frank McCourt, which is um, about this uh, um, Irish poor guy. It was it was quite popular at the time, and then there was uh, a sequel, I think. Uh, that's the first one I can remember reading. Um, next question is, what was your first character role model? Um, so in this one there was this um, small sort of picture book uh, series that was like my sister Clara does something and, um, and there was one specific book in which she, it was like my sister Clara the ecologist and basically the idea was that um, the mom's um, the mom's rose garden had a plague of something that was eating the plants and uh, this girl read somewhere that if um, that uh, ladybugs ate those those uh, plants so the she went all around the neighborhood collecting ladybugs to release in their garden so they would eat the the little bugs and since that day, yeah, I wanted to go collect ladybugs, so I guess she was a role model back then. The next question is, what was the first author you were truly inspired by? I don't exactly know what they mean by this, like, inspired to do what? Um, but I remember that when um, when I read when I read Anna, Anna Frank's diary, uh, I was very moved and I was really impressed of how well she took to to live this really difficult life and that inspired me to like do more things and I don't know like enjoy the privileges that I had. Um, the ninth question is what is the first book you remember touching or moving you? Uh, <laughs> this one is a hard one again because I think emotions are kind of difficult to remember like that but um, I remember reading um, this book with this, which is called Memorias de una Vaca which means Memories of a Cow by Bernardo Chaga and I remember being quite like 
I don't know. Yeah, kind of move. It's not about anything in particular. It's just it's told from the perspective of a cow, and she talks about I don't know all the things that are changing in the rural areas uh, of of Spain and and how her life is changing and not always for the best and I I think I, I was quite moved by that back then. The next question is what is the first classic that you read not for school and I don't know if this counts as a classic but um, The Little Prince by Antoine Saint-Exupéry was one that I read pretty early on. It's one of my mom's favorite books and I think it's a classic and actually when I graduated from my PhD my mom bought me the special edition like 50 year anniversary of, of the book um, and it has like the original illustrations and stuff like that as well which is pretty cool I think um, so yeah I would count that as a classic um, and I think that's the first one I read um, I also read Roald Dahl at some point but um, I think this one is more classic than Roald Dahl. Um, what was the first YA book you read? Um, I don't know. I don't think that back when I was young it was like divided that way and I don't know exactly what the limit of um, YA and middle grade was but something that I read that was like on the higher side of middle grade or the lower side of YA was uh, these books, it was like a series of books that were called Kika Super Bruja in Spanish, so it was like Super Witch, and it was about this girl that happened to be a witch, but she still had to go to school and stuff, and um, yeah, I think they kind of are a little bit on the YA side of things, so I would say those ones. And the last question is, what is the first ebook you read? And I have no idea, I don't remember. I think it's reasonably recent because I was not into... I mean, there were no ebooks when I was younger, but then I was not very into ebooks for a long time. Now I read them occasionally, but I would still prefer physical books. But probably would be one of these, like, out of copyright things that you can get for free, like Charles Dickens or something like that. I'm pretty sure it was something like that. So yeah, those are all the questions. I hope you enjoyed this tag. Let me know your answers below if you have something interesting to say about that. And um, I would tag some people. I would tag um, Lorem from Reading with my car. Um, I would tag uh, Pauline from Dancing Long. And I would tag... And I will tag Corny from Corny Fairy Tale. Um, so yeah, that's all for me. Um, let me know in the comments uh, what was uh, your first books that you read and until next video, bye!